Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I uh, just want to do the intro outside. I know most of these studies are probably going to be done inside. Um, but we had a beautiful day today. I want to do the intro outside. Uh, I've been seeing in a lot of comments uh, a lot of feelings and opinions. And it seems that as brethren, brothers and sisters of Christ, we're getting away from chapter and verse. What does the Word of God say? So I'm starting a series called Bible Manhunt. I came across this book at a used bookstore. See if we can get it in the sun. We got to turn it just right. It says Bible Manhunt. And what it does is it gives poems like a riddle. It's, it's, a, it's a riddle, it's a poem. And you got to read the poem and then you got to figure out who, what Bible character it's talking about. And I thought this would be a great exercise that we read these poems and I wait a week. And this is going to happen real fast. So after you read this intro, I'm going to throw out the first video right away, the first poem. But after that, it's going to be a weekly thing. And you have all week to look, use a sword searcher and try to look up what the poem's saying. That's my rooster going. <laughs> look up to what the poem's saying and try to figure out who the person is and see if what they're saying in the riddle is true. Are they adding to Scripture, subtracting from Scripture, uh, bending it a little bit, you know? So, so that's what we're going to be doing. Bible man hunt. Okay? So make sure you're using your Bibles. We need to get back into chapter and verse. Well, I feel, I feel, my opinion is, you know, and I keep seeing that. Uh, one of the biggest things that are coming out, and I'll get to it eventually, I'm trying to hold off. Um, saw some studies by Brother Brian about Christmas, and, and it's, I feel, and my opinion is, and, and this and that, and it's like, we need to get back to what saith the scriptures. The Godhead versus the Trinity. My opinions and my feelings and opinion. What saith the scriptures? Okay. Uh, Pre-time of Jacob's trouble. Catch away the body of Christ. Versus post and mid-trib. Well, I feel my opinions and everything. What saith the scriptures? One of the false things that are coming out right now is my truth. Well, my truth is this and your truth is that. There's no such thing as my truth and your truth. There's, the, there's just the truth. And where I'm wrong, correct me. By all means, correct me with love. Just as I correct others, brothers and sisters in Christ, with love. But this is the foundation. This is the authority from which we correct one another. It's not my truth. It's not Brother Brian's truth. It's not those lost uh, people in the Babel building's truth. You know, the lost world's truth. It's the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. Okay? No man cometh to the Father but by me. Okay? Sanctify them through thy tr tr truth. Thy word is truth. The truth. Okay, We need to get back to the King James Bible as being our foundation in all matters of faith and practice. That needs to be the foundation. Okay, It needs to be the final authority. And that's what this whole series of studies is going to be about, is us getting back to the practice of when we hear something, we're going to hear these poems, these riddles, when we hear something, what say the scriptures? Is there more to it? We might learn something more to it. Okay, When someone comes out and tells you, as a good Christian, you should do this. As a good Christian, you shouldn't do that. And blah, blah, blah. You always go chapter and verse. What say the scriptures? There's just too much feelings, opinions, and emotions going in to a lot of subjects, like the big one that's coming up for the next month is Christmas, and there's not enough scripture to back it up. Some people will try to grab scripture, and they'll end up twisting it. They'll, ch they'll start preaching it like it's truth, and it is, but then their feelings and their opinions start coming in, and they start treating it like it's fact, and it's not. Like it's absolute truth, and it's not. Okay? So we're going to get back into the habit of, hey, chapter and verse. And we're going to do it with this series. So we'll get into the first poem and then we'll get into the first study for the first poem. So there won't be that much break. So watch this intro and don't go straight into uh, Bible Manhunt Part 1. Just watch the intro and spend a few days to try to figure it out unless you figure it out quicker. Some people are quick, some people are slow. I'm kind of slow sometimes. Um, take a few days before you actually get into um, Manhunt Part One, Bible uh, Bible Manhunt Part One, and then from there, just we're just going to put it, be putting it out once a week, and giving you a whole week to look it up in your Bible and figure out who it is, and make sure you, you know when you figure out, you could probably figure out from one or two lines who it is, but go through all the lines, 
and compare it with scripture and say, okay, is this right on? Is this right on? Is that right on? That's the whole point of this study is to get you, brothers and sisters of Christ, involved in doing your own Bible studies. Okay, and this Bible study doesn't take long when it's just doing a Bible manhunt. There's some Bible studies that take a long time comparing scripture with scripture with scripture. Okay, that's a good man to follow, someone who compares scripture with scripture with scripture with scripture. Not someone who grabs one thing and just says it's got to be this way. Okay. So, grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you and my love for you which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Okay. I'll be playing the poem at the end. So, thank you for watching. The first manhunt is the first uh, riddle, <laughs> first poem is titled The Riddler. I came to riddle the Riddler to see if the Riddler would, by wisdom or wit, unriddle for me my riddles, or if he could. The Riddler could, and would, and did, unriddle them great and small, and so I gave to him the prize, gold gems and spices, all. I traveled far by train, not car, to verify the word. I had not thought of damning aught, but will some day you've heard. Who am I?